morning y'all morning 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 i'm doing my morning ritual i'm riding back to the spot just wanted to talk to y'all about a few things the first thing i'm gonna tell y'all about today if y'all ain't doing nothing tonight it will be hot to death if you would um hook up with for the queen and i radio show listen in ask questions call in laugh joke it's just like a little spot where we kick it look little fun time we have and it's going down tonight tonight i will um announce really announce the winners to um this contest has been going on long as hell they've been waiting like two and a half weeks so i, I need to get this done i had um one son's birthday, one daughter's birthday, 14th and the 15th. I just been so damn swamped. I got that over with. Uh, I'm good. I'm so good right now. Um, something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. I don't know if you've seen that Jet Magazine. I'll tweet a picture. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll see it today. Um, they had an article that in Africa, if you impregnate the woman and you don't make sure she get her pre- and postnatal care you can serve like big time in jail they are making the men in africa be responsible for their children and when i read that article i was just like what that's kind of dope <laughs> that's kind of dope i was talking to my boys yesterday about um i, I think that being that I am a woman, and I have teenage boys, and it, it can And then when you look through their phone, and girls are sending them booty pictures and pictures in their underwear and and shit like that, and you know, just like, where the fuck is they people? You know what I'm saying? You know everybody like, where they mama? Nah, where is they family? Where is they daddy? Where are they granddaddy? Where are they uncles? Where the grandmama? Where's somebody? that you know you don't even know or even think that this is not right so um i'm talking to them about you know one of my cousins he laughing and shit because he think it's funny yeah shit i mean hell if they want to take it i say hey everybody you fuck is a potential baby mama i ain't finna sugarcoat this shit Anybody you lay with is a potential baby mama. And if you for real think she her booty big and she fine, just think if you got to deal with this bitch for the next 18 years. You know, you, I'm not, I'm not telling you not to meet girls and like girls and court girls, but fucking been out since the beginning of time and fucking ain't going to go out of style no time soon. So really, if you got good sense, you'll wait. You know what I'm saying? find you a nice little girlfriend if you can and you motherfuckers just love each other through high school get through college get your ass a plan because all this motherfucking free flow and freestyle humping ain't gonna do nothing but get your ass a package or a package a p the pack or a package she is some aids or a baby i just my friend was telling me that her son is 14 and this girl is pregnant and the mama is telling her she trying to get child support on her I, girl uh -huh, baby uh, and like i told nicholas i see you 15 and if you have a baby and i am a bitch come up talking about she pregnant to me she talking to the wrong motherfucker because i can't help you I, I can't help your ass. If you run around fucking these raggedy ass bitches and you ain't got no job and she ain't got no job, I don't know what to tell you, but I ain't paying no child support. I ain't, that, that I ain't going to do. So you and your little family, I don't know what to tell you, but I told them, I said, if you fuck around and get this bitch pregnant, any bitch, you need to be trying to marry these motherfuckers because that's your family. That is your family. If you impregnate somebody, that woman and that baby is your responsibility. So my cousin was like, fuck no, nah, cuz, that ain't cool. He responsible for that baby. I said, okay, real talk. If that girl go out and get her an apartment right now, 
or when she just say she her age, she could get a studio. But being that she gonna have to get a baby, she gonna have to get a bigger place. She gonna have to, I mean, it's just more shit you gotta do for yourself as a mother when you have a baby. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, if I ain't had no kids, I probably wouldn't even have no appointment. I just go live two nights here and two nights there and three nights here and shit. And by the time I get back to the first set of people's house, they be happy to see me again. I, I, I'm about to say, you know, and the argument was that I shouldn't tell Nicholas that <clears throat> if he gets somebody pregnant, that's his responsibility. That is his responsibility because that's why the Bible or any holy text will tell a man, you know what I'm saying, is better to marry than burn. Or a woman is better married than burn. Because the truth is, when you start having sex, you know, speaking from a man's angle, I do the women's, you know, I always do ours, but I'm just saying from a man's angle, they fucking, you see some booty, some titties, I'm finna hit that. You got that shit all fucked up because if this girl ends up pregnant, your life has changed for one. And for two, I, I'm too cute and young to be a motherfucking grandmama. I got shit to do. So, you're going to have to drop out of school or take the motherfucker with you. I don't give a fuck what you do. Because you doing grown people shit. I mean, you got to make grown people decisions. But I will say this. I will say this. I've, I've talked to him over and over about these bitches. And my friend whose son is 14, finna have a motherfucking baby. He ain't even old enough to work. So she told my girl, I gotta pay child support. If I pay for child support for somebody that I ain't come for, it's gonna be a whole motherfucking... What the fuck is... I can't stand these old ass... Go on, old ass lady. Here. No, I gotta keep my goddamn eyes on the road, bitch. So, yeah. And she got nerve to turn around and rub her dog. Bitch, if you don't turn your ass around. Anyway. She 14 years old. She told me they trying to get her for child support. If I pay child support for somebody I ain't getting no good enough for, it's going to be a whole motherfucking problem. And I mean, show us my name is Dwayne. I ain't playing. I am not fucking playing. So, you know, we tell our daughters. And, and I ain't even going to front. It ain't even these boys running out trying to get pussy. It's these girls running around trying to for real find love between their thighs and shit. And can you come over here? Can you come over here? No, bitch, he can't come over here. You come over here and the, and the door gonna be open and I'm gonna be in there with your motherfucking ass trying to see what's going on because I just don't have the time. And I think she scared me when she talking about her baby 14, where he going on 15 and finna have a motherfucking baby. And I said, well, what you finna do? Tell me I'm trying to kick the bitch down the steps. I'm on the flow. You gonna take your black ass to jail. You can't be kicking bitches down steps. You just finna be a motherfucking grandma. But I, I just, I, mm. And the funny thing is a lot of my friends are grandmothers because they had, I got a set of friends who had kids when they was teenagers. And then I got a set of kids who had kids when they was grown. But my friends who had kids when we was teenagers, they already grandmamas. And I just don't want to be no mother. I don't want to be no no grandma no time. I want to be a big mama, a big fat ass mama in a moo moo. I don't want to be no cute skinny jean wearing grandma. That ain't, I just, I can't. I can't. And then, I just can't. I just, ooh. So, I started talking about men being responsible for their children. We have to start teaching men responsibility. And I know somebody smart ass gonna be like, well, what about the women? I always talk to you goddamn women. If you motherfuckers ain't listening, that's on you. But teach your son responsibility. The greatest gift that a father can give their son is showing them how to respect the woman. You know what I'm saying? You cannot just be running around her humping and shit to be humping. Because these motherfuckers, I, ugh, God. And then it was funny because me and my cousin was talking about our other cousin who's baby mama bust my uncle and auntie window it's funny now but it wasn't funny it worked the day i'm in but you know these women they go motherfucking crazy they try to act like you know they men and shit we kicking it we ain't even cut out like that you know what i'm saying now motherfuckers can say i don't want no man bitch you've been hurt or you trying to protect yourself from being hurt or maybe you got low self-esteem and don't think nobody will want your ass but whatever the case may be all this extra humping it, it's just i don't know i just don't know how i feel about this because i just hmm 
I think she shouldn't have told it to me because it's been on my mind. And then I already looked in the Jet magazine and it was saying that they are holding people accountable. And do I think that men should be held accountable for their children? Yes, 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 yes. But you also, in my opinion, which is the only one that matters to me on this channel, that's why it's the High Manage channel, you should be fucking humping something that you can't see a future with. If you can't see a motherfucker raising your babies and tending to your house and for real bringing that Proverbs 31 woman, you shouldn't be humping on the bitch. That, I don't know what to tell you. And if you think you for real can be humping on her, shit, wife her ass. That's all the fuck I'm saying. That's why if you too young to be wifing, you too young to be humping. Let me get out for here because y'all know how I be going on and on. I got another video off of the post right now. Bye.